friends welcome to this programming tutorial series in this tutorial we are going to solve a very important problem which is generally asked in an interview questions so in this uh, tutorial uh, we are going to discuss uh, a problem uh, related to string so in this problem we have to write a java program to check whether a uh, two strings are anagrams of each other or not so before solving this problem let's first understand what is anagram so two strings are said to be anagram of each other if it contains the same character only the order of character in both the string is different so uh, for example uh, a string one is let's suppose a string one is car and a string two is rack so if we see uh, in both the string the character count is same so in first string c is present in second string c is present in first string a is present in second string a is present in <coughs> first string r and in second string r is also present so it's an anagram so what it means uh, so in anagram both the string must contain the same exact letter in the same exact frequency so suppose if this is car and this is r a c k rack so in this case it is not an anagram so in in second example a string one is code and a string two is dog so in first string c in second string c, uh, c is present in first string o is present in second string o is present in first string d is present in second string d is present in first string e but uh, e alphabet is not present in a second string so it's not an anagram so in anagram a string must contain the same exact letter so <coughs> uh, only uh, the same exact frequency matter the order of character does not matter so I hope you have understood what is anagram so let's uh, first we discuss the approach how to solve how to uh, how we are going to code this problem then uh, we come into a coding part so how to check anagram so first the easiest approach is to sort sort both the strings so if we sort both the string and compare if it's equal then it's anagram otherwise it's not and what's our second approach in second approach we maintain the character count for both the string so if the character count for both the string is same then it's anagram so in this method in second approach we count each character of the first string and then subtracting it from, uh, from the count of the second string and finally we check if the character count is zero if it's zero then the two string if it if it's zero then the two string is anagram otherwise it's not so let's uh, let's start coding this problem we have discussed the theory part uh, about anagram what is an anagram and different approaches I mean the two approaches through which uh, we can check whether two strings are anagram of each other or not so uh, we discuss first up we discuss first approaches sort both the string and then compare if both the strings is equal after sorting then it's an anagram so let's first implement the sorting approach so uh, let's take declare a scanner new scanner system dot ion okay let's just take two string input string str2 so how do we uh, sort the string so first we 
convert the string into character array then we sort the character array and then we make it a string in this way we get a sorted string so let's first convert a string 1 into character array uh, let's convert a string 2 into a character array so let's sort first character array let's sort second character array and now let's form a sorted string After sorting if both the strings are equal then it's an anagram string one dot equals a string sorted a string two sorted a string two then it's an anagram Otherwise, it's not an anagram. So let's run this program known as Java application. Enter two string. Let's start first string is Java and the second string is oh, oh oops I missed this uh, let's again run this program let's first string is Java and the second string is Java C so it's not an anagram as C is not present in first string and uh, let's run this time so first is code and then so it's an anagram as both the string contains the same character let's move to our second approach in which we count each character of the first string and then subtracting it from the count of the second string and after subtracting if the count of each string each character is zero then it's an anagram so let's remove let's first remove this code and let's create a separate method with it checks which return boolean checks whether a two string is an anagram it accepts two argument a string one and a string two so let's first we check a string one dot length is not equal to string Two dot length then return false so if if we have two string of unequal length then it's not going to be an anagram in any case so we have return false let's declare a count array of 256 length uh, let's just 
<coughs> so uh, we, now we are sure that both the string have same length so let's start with any of the string so we <coughs> start with a string one dot length and i plus plus so what we are doing is in count array we are incrementing we are <coughs> counting the character from of a first string and we are decrementing string 2 for care at i from second string so in this case we are incrementing incrementing character count of a string 1 and here we are decrement correct decrementing character count of a string 2 then let's traverse a count array if any character count is not zero then we return a false it means it's not an anagram otherwise we return true so let's revisit the logic again so in first case first we have checked whether the two string is of equal length or not if it's not equal uh, then we return false if the length of both the string is not equal then uh, we maintain the character count so uh, we have two string uh, from first string we are uh, incrementing character count and from second string we are decrementing character count so if the frequency of the both the <coughs> if the frequency of a character in both the string is same then the net result will be zero if if the frequency count is not if the frequency count of a character is not equal then uh, the character count will not be zero in that case it's not an anagram so uh, it is uh, this is the logic of this method uh, now let's check if is anagram a string one and two if it's if it returns true it means system dot out dot print line anagram not an anagram Let's run this code. <coughs> Enter two string. It's Java. And the second string is Java. So the reason being in the first case we use capital J. In the second uh, case we use a small j. So uh, let's run a second case java and java so it's an anagram let's run one more case in this case we docker or rocket it's not an anagram so i hope you have understood uh, this problem uh, so i have discussed uh, these two approaches 
you can uh, you can use some other approach to solve uh, this problem and if you uh, like this video then subscribe our youtube channel you can uh, visit our website which is webrewrite.com thank you for watching this video